Hey Aries, welcome to your general reading for August. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody, unfortunately. I do personal readings. I didn't even want that many cards, but they've jumped out. And my email will be in the description box as always. So chemistry. Okay, you got that fire going on during August. Passion. And healing family issues. So you may be coming out of cancer season. You know, you've been dealing with family issues and this will have an uh, effect on your love life. It will, your love life will benefit more now you've healed any situations during cancer season, friendships, family, things like that. So um, very positive passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Wonderful. There's a strong magnetic connection here, Aries. Okay, so let's see with the mythical tarot deck here for the main read sorry about the angle guys um i've made a video explaining why we're doing this angle now it is what it is we've got to keep it moving so let's see the world so new beginnings here you'll find you know closing down any issues will open up these new doors for you here during August. So really taking off. New beginnings here. Wonderful. It's the first card, the most important card there. And it's a major arcana. So this will be energy that sticks around a long time. So I feel like positive um, energy sticking around. You could find yourself passionate about new things and being drawn to new things here. Um, doors opening up for you, whether that's... Um, career whether that's you know um schooling or anything like that love connections new doors opening up for you new cycles beginning having closed down old ones nine of swords so if you're worried about this don't i feel like this could be more like nightmares somebody's having night terrors with this card um if you don't know what night terrors are look them up this is like the night hag um I've had this myself. It's awful. But um, yeah, look this up. And it could be like worrying about nothing, okay, with the Nine of Swords. So you could be worrying about nothing because you do have these new beginnings coming for you. So if you're worried that, um, okay, I just went through all these things and closing down these cycles, what what's next? So don't worry because these new beginnings are coming for you. You're going to find new passions, um, a new chemistry here. Um, so don't worry about that. It's nine of swords. None of the swords are touching them. So it's like worrying about um, unnecessary things or focusing on the worst case scenario. So don't do that because good things are coming for you guys. Okay. Three of swords. Okay. So if you focused on how you was hurt in the past and maybe you're starting a new relationship. Don't let, you know, the past stop your future here. Okay, because this three of swords is about um, gaining your wings, learning from this pain. So, you know, maybe if you went through some family issues and you could learn and grow from this, okay? Doesn't mean that all's, you know, over for you here. It means it's going to open up a new cycle, new doors, new beginnings for you here. You'll grow from this heartache, okay? So it's like you received your wings from this heartache. Um, you could be worrying that when I meet somebody else, I might get my heart broken again. Um, don't focus on the worst case scenarios, okay? Chariot, moving forward, very um swiftly here and successfully okay so if you are starting a new business or a new career or a new beginning in any sort of way don't worry about it it's going to be successful here um like i said you could just be focusing on the worst of the things that could go wrong um but don't do that it's going to be successful okay and like i said um cancer season could have been a bit of a bumpy ride for you guys okay being a fire sign um, having to deal with family issues and things like that. So maybe you was expecting to deal with romantic issues and you had to deal with family issues. But don't worry because this also helps your romantic issues. Okay, it opens up new doors there. Could be that um, a new cancer is coming in for you. Um, a cancerian coming in for you there. Don't um, focus or think like I may get my heart broken again. It's going to be a very positive, very loving, nurturing relationship for you. It could also indicate 
um, you had issues with your parents, with your mum, or, you know, look at how their marriage or whatever ended up there. So don't focus on anything negative. Look at that eight of wands. Yeah, you're over the worst of it. OK, so this is um, indicating the challenges that you faced, but being able to fly now, you're over the worst of it. OK, so you may feel like some little turbulence, some little bumps, but you're over the worst of it. Um, you're moving forward now and you will do so very quickly. Now we've entered this fire season, you know, wands here and successfully. OK, so don't focus on you know your heart being broken. Focus on the growth that you got from the heartache. It's like growing pains, it feels like, um, but unnecessary worry here because um, new doors are opening for you here all over the place. The devil card could be a Capricorn here. Um, you could be, um, somebody could be very tempted by you, I feel. Um, or you could be like addicted to heartache and things like that, focusing on the worst case scenario. It's a general reading, so I'm just giving a broad example. It could be like you start to realise, OK, I've been focusing on this heartache a little too long. It's like... I'm addicted to the pain or something here and it's sort of toxic behaviour. So getting over this toxic energy now, this is in the heart of the reading for you guys. So overcoming toxic energy and toxic relationships, leaving them in the past, whether that's family, friends or, um, you know, a, lo a lover. It's just like being able to overcome that energy, looking at it but not letting it hold you back, not focusing on the worst case scenario there, okay? So during this season, don't let things of the past hold you back because it's more like an addiction to pain when this pain was just here to help you grow. Ace of Wands, look at that. I said opportunities all over the place here. So this is new beginnings. It's like you're going to get offer from somebody new. And this devil card could just be, it could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Or we have the chariot for cancer here, but any sign really. It's just like doors are opening for you guys. There's going to be opportunities during um, August for you guys. And I feel like you should take them up, okay? This Ace of Wands is about not missing opportunities, actually accepting them. So go ahead and accept new things and do new things, get new hobbies and things like that. Um, you know, really stepping up and really wanting to get out and enjoy yourself. Again, these two cards together could just be that you're very passionate about something, um, an offer here. We have passion. We have passion, yeah. So you could just be very passionate about this new beginning, this new focus here, this new cycle that you're entering into. And like I said, you've got over the worst of it here. So if you have some minor bumps, don't worry about it. It's just a little bump. It'll pass really quickly here. These opportunities are not to be missed. This offer here, accept it with both hands and yeah, enjoy it. Page of Cups. Somebody's making you an offer here. And it's going to be very hard to resist this offer with the devil card there. Um, it could be a younger person, um, but this could just indicate that I feel like that the love feels very new. That's what I feel here. Like, I don't feel like this person is too much immature, but I just feel like the love could be new. OK, or the project could be new, but it's about communication and um Somebody may be sorry that they broke your heart or, you know, you may be sorry about conversations you had with your parents, but it was all a learning curve during cancer season here. So don't be too hard on yourself about it, OK, because then you would lead yourself into that devil energy being too hard on yourself. Um, accept it for what it is. It was very healing for you all. Um and you will all move forward very positively from it. So, you know, you could be receiving apologies from people and things like that. But overall, I feel like it's communication and passionate communication and chemistry and, 
you know, lovely text messages to each other, things like that. Okay, guys? So enjoy it. Definitely feels like new. Somebody might be a bit shy as well here. Um, so we have the star card. Yeah, these was all meant to happen. We have to heal um, all relationships in our life to move forward. So you're on the right path here. Um, if you're wishing for um, communication or wishing to sort out things here, I feel the opportunity to do that is coming. OK, but overall, this is like major healing that you received during um, cancer season. So now you're able to take these next steps forward. Do so without fear, OK, because I feel like with the three of swords and the nine of swords and the devil card, um, it's a real fear to be hurt again especially when you've got into a new relationship and then things are going so well and you're messaging each other and it's so beautiful and I feel like this sort of creeps in like huh well remember when I got hurt it didn't feel so great um but yeah it's saying you know you both have this pull towards each other so enjoy it enjoy it when it's new it's lovely when it's new um you're on the right track here this is not an offer to be missed you know, accept this ace here. Okay. So let's see. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it will work out here. This offer will work out. I'm not at all worried about this. I feel like you've been working on yourself. Um, you know, you, you're aligning yourself, getting yourself on the right track, the right path here. And you may have not even been expecting somebody new to come in, but they have. And it's not an offer to reject. Um, what we reject is like the negative feelings that go along with it, the worry, the, you know, this sort of energy. This is what I want you to reject, focusing on um, the negative or things from the past, because having gone through what you've just gone through, you'll heal those issues. So, you know, this will be different here. You're going to have success with this. OK, so you're on the right track here if you're working on yourself, ascending here like this is ascension here major healing with the star card so yeah you're going to start seeing results in your physical world now with the eight of pentacles because you've worked on yourself spiritually hangman enlightenment you've worked on yourself you've received enlightenment here okay you've received the answers like okay i went through this and i focused on this maybe i um, my inner child needed this to come out. Uh, you know, it's like you've had some major clarity and enlightenment come into you here. Um, not everything's going to be heartbreak. You know, I, I don't need to worry about every little thing. I just have to go with the flow of things sometimes here. OK, and trust I've worked on myself. I've worked on things, you know, don't let toxic energy hold me back. I feel like the toxic energy is just worry that, you know, this may happen again. You know, you may you feel like, oh, well, I've been through this cycle once. No, I feel like you closed down this cycle because you've worked on yourself. You know, you're over the worst of it now. So don't, you know, turn down these offers because the nine of swords is worrying about the worst case scenario or things that aren't even happened yet. OK, so allow your heart and soul to sing here with joy, you know, trust this chemistry you feel. Your love life benefits as you've healed these situations now. OK, guys, wonderful. Good luck.